Exciting times. Today, I'm going to review a scientific study that I believe is the best NMN-related study since the Mice on the Treadmill study with David Seclair, where he gave some NMN and didn't give it to other mice, and the mice with the NMN broke the treadmill. This one is impactful in a bigger way, I think, even because of the extent it goes to cover a lot of different bases. Now, this is, again, a mouse study, but it's, again, a comprehensive mouse study, and it does a great job covering things that I've looked for in studies in the past. The first thing is it combines two different approaches to see if one can enhance the other, and they happen to be things that I do and thousands of people I've interacted with do as well, time-restricted fasting combining with NMN. And in this study, they say, hey, does NMN improve the results of time-restricted fasting, which we already know has many health benefits? And the results are amazing. Not only that, but they had five different groups of mice, which I'll get into in a minute, but I love when they test a lot of different things and give us more data that way. Now, the headline here reads, and this is a story from NMN.com, but I'm gonna give you a link to this story and the study itself. Check out that in the description. Also, you could find out where I get my own NMN from Do Not Age. If you're not getting your NMN there already, take a look at that. Use my code PULSE, save 10% on pure NMN. The headlines of this study are, NMN enhances the effect of time-restricted fasting on body composition, muscle NAD plus levels. Yes, I said muscle NAD plus levels, a point of contention by some scientists. But here they show that the muscles do increase in NAD plus and muscle mitochondrial health. The other highlight is time-restricted fasting improves endurance and gut microbiome health only when combined with NMN. And gut microbiome health is a really hot topic right now as well. So you're beginning to see why I really like this study. They looked at a lot of different things with several different groups. And they combined two different disciplines, taking NMN and time-restricted fasting. A recent study published in Nutrients explores a powerful new health strategy, combining time-restricted fasting with NMN to improve energy metabolism, boost physical performance, and support healthy aging. The results suggest that this combination improves body composition, physical performance, muscle mitochondrial function, and even enhances microbiome health. TF is a form of intermittent fasting where all meals are eaten within a daily window of 6 to 12 hours. For example, someone might eat between 10 and 6 and fast for the remaining 16 hours. That is pretty much what I do. I'm somewhere between 11 and 7 p.m. Unlike calorie-restrictive diets, TF doesn't necessarily involve eating less. Although I think if you eat in a smaller window, you're probably going to end up eating less at the end of the day. But the focus of this is just eating within that specific time frame. Research has linked TF to improve metabolism, better blood sugar control, reduced inflammation, and enhanced fat burning. So now we want to determine if NMN improves upon the things that TF does and some things that TF doesn't even do on its own. To determine if NMN enhances the effect of TF, researchers measured the effect of TF alone and TF combined with increasingly larger doses of NMN. If you've ever watched me break down a study before, I really like it when studies have larger dosages. I myself take 1.5 grams, for example. And some human studies have tested as low as 100 milligrams. So it's really hard to draw too much from a study study of low dosages when people who are getting results, reporting results anecdotally, are taking much higher amounts. Now, the five groups were the control group with normal fasting and no NMN, the TF group with time-restricted fasting and no NMN, and three groups of low, medium, and high doses of NMN. The results showed that TF increased lean mass and reduced fat mass, demonstrating an improvement in body composition. However, only high-dose NMN enhanced the effect of TF on body composition, while the lower doses enhanced fat mass but not lean mass. Additionally, while TF did not increase muscle cell size, TF combined with low or high-dose NMN 
increased muscle size, suggesting that TF combined with NMN could increase muscle mass. Now, yes, I want to see a human clinical trial testing these types of things as well. However, this is what myself and tens of thousands of people have been reporting. We've been losing weight, we've been increasing muscle mass, and many of us have been practicing these two things, time-restricted fasting along with NMN and some other supplements. Keep in mind, they didn't give these mice TMG, by the way, which also helps NMN. Now, in the study, they also went on to test endurance, how they performed on a treadmill. They tested mitochondrial health, and they tested the microbiome. And in all of these cases, NMN improved the results of the tests on the mice when combined with TF. What I would like to see now going forward is a study that tests whether TF can enhance the results of NMN. As you may have noticed, those groups didn't include NMN only. However, I think the approach here was we know TF can do certain things. Can NMN enhance the results of those things? And it went beyond that. NMN provided benefits that TF alone didn't. Now, they also address in this article everyone's question, which I alluded to before, but I'm going to remind you again why I think this study is so relevant to humans. The question is, will this work for humans? While this study's results are compelling, they were conducted in mice. Human biology is more complex, so clinical trials are needed to confirm whether the same benefits occur in people and to determine the optimal dosage and safety of NMN over the long term. This is something I've been calling for for a long time. Again, because myself and others are getting these results. We are already anecdotally reporting these results in large numbers and large percentages, as high as 80% of people taking NMN are reporting these kinds of benefits. So still, this study offers new insight into how simple lifestyle interventions, changing when we eat and adding a supplement, could work together to enhance energy, fitness, and health potential. Benefits for humans, particularly older and overweight individuals, may include better endurance and athletic performance, more efficient energy use, reduced oxidative damage, support for healthy aging, and improved gut health. So while I have been lulled to sleep with many studies that just sort of come in and tiptoe through certain things and aren't as expansive as this study, this one definitely got me excited because it speaks to exactly the way I've been feeling the past four years taking NMN and employing time-restricted fasting myself, which I have found personally to be hugely beneficial. It's not right for everyone. I will even state that NMN is not right for everyone. But if you're an aging adult, and if you're overweight, and if you want to exercise to your maximum performance level, I've found that these two approaches have been hugely beneficial to me. And I really look forward to seeing even more studies performed, especially on humans, that further explore these results. Subscribe if you like this, and I'll see you again soon.